sweet friends welcome to a new vlog if you are new here my name is Kim I'm a second grade teacher in West Michigan and this week is spirit week we're starting off today with pajama day so I'll show you my outfit in just a second but before I jump into it I wanted to say that this video is kindly being sponsored by read theory so I will talk all about read theory in just a couple of minutes I absolutely love read theory I've loved integrating it into my second grade classroom this year and I also used it when I taught fourth and fifth grade and my kids loved it then as well so I'll talk a little bit more about that but just wanted to give a quick shout out to read theory for sponsoring today's video Video. Okay, so here is the outfit for pajama day. I usually just do leggings so that way if I want to go out anywhere after school I don't have to change. So I have leggings and then my Birkenstock clogs and this teach sweatshirt that's really comfy. So yes, that is what I'm wearing for pajama day today. Nothing too exciting, but it works. So as mentioned, this video is kindly being sponsored by Read Theory. I'm totally geeked to be working with them because this is a website that I have been using for years and years, and it just feels really cool to be able to partner with them on this video. Read Theory is free for educators. When students first join Read Theory, they have a pretest to assess their current Lexile level. So they have reading passages and then they have little questions that go with the passages that they need to answer so then that way read theory can find out their lexile level read theory is continuously adaptive to each individual student's level so it continues to adapt as students are using it to figure out what is going to best fit their needs read theory offers live feedback for students which my students love they are constantly calling me over to show me when they got hundred percent on their quizzes they love it and they think it's just like the coolest thing <laughs> read theory definitely keeps the engagement of students because they can earn different badges and knowledge points and they're always super excited to show off all of the different things that they've earned within Read Theory. Read Theory provides ELA curriculum standards reports to show what teachers should be teaching next and what students still need to be working on. I used Read Theory when I taught fourth and fifth grade, absolutely loved it and could use it whole group. This year I started it off with just my like high, high flyers that I thought would benefit from doing it independently when I'm working with small groups. And now I've opened it up to almost my entire class. So I do it during a time where I'm working with small groups and the rest of the class is mostly working independently. And now most of my students are on there and they love it. Like I said, it's totally free. So check the description box below for a link so you can check out Read Theory. Okay, so my Read Theory account has all of my students' information in it, and I wouldn't want to violate any kind of FERPA laws or anything like that. So I went ahead and made a new account so you could see what it looks like when you go on to Read Theory. So this is just a generic free account that you can see on here. But if you check the description box below, I actually have a free 30-day premium membership as well, which unlocks it where you don't have to have any kind of ads or anything like that on there, which is pretty cool. So definitely check the description box for that. Read Theory does a really good job of walking you through how to set up your account. So you can see they have like little videos on their website and all sorts of helpful tips and tricks. So I just added a couple of fake students to this account just so you can see like an example and this is not an account that I'm going to actually use. Like I said, I already have a full account that I use with my students, but I thought this would just give you an idea of what it looks like. So as you can see, it populates a ton of cool information about like the quizzes taken, the grade level performance, Lexile level, knowledge points, all sorts of cool things. The kids can earn badges as they're taking these little quizzes, which my students are obsessed with and they're always calling me over to check out their badges once they earn them, which is really, really fun. This account was just a free one that I showed you, but like I said, I do have a free premium membership for 30 days in the description box below. If you are interested in checking that out, I highly, highly recommend using Read Theory. I love it, my kids love it, and I use it every single day in my second grade classroom. Okay, so as you can tell, it is after school now. I'm in my car, and I'm actually just about to go do something really fun. I am sitting outside of a piercing studio, the same place where I got my nose pierced, and I'm going to get a couple new ear piercings on this year. I'm gonna get two new flats, so flats, are like this part of your ear right here and then I'm also gonna get one on this side and then eventually I want to get my double lobes done as well and I want to get a little helix piercing which is like up here so just like adding some fun things so yes I'm just about to go do that and I will share with you after as well I'm hoping I can get like little star earrings or something fun I don't know what kind of jewelry they'll have so I'm really excited though so I'm gonna go do that and then I will see you after okay so I just left my appointment and it's so stinking cute I got two flats on this side so I'll go close so you can see them 
and then I got one on this side because eventually I want to get my helix done on this side but oh my gosh they're so cute I love them I will say it really hurt like it hurt worse than my nose piercing for sure and the gal who did it she said it's because it's such like a thick area but it's so cute Okay, so now it is Tuesday. It is Tacky Tuesday, so I have a very fun outfit on I will share with you in the mirror in just a moment. Today, like I said, it is Tuesday. It is Tacky Tuesday. Life is good. Yesterday was a good day, so hoping for another great day today. Let me share with you my outfit, and then I have some things I need to do still this morning. Okay, so here is today's wacky, tacky outfit. I have on this little shirt from Five Below. I think it's so cute and just so random. And and then also these pants, I think they were originally from Sheen, but I got them at Goodwill. And then I just cut off the bottoms because they were really long. And then I have my favorite Nikes on. And yes, that is the outfit for today. And then some silly earrings as well, which is fun. I might put my hair in a bubble braid. I haven't really decided. I do have plans after school, so I don't know. I might just leave it. And then that way after school, I can put my hair down and like change into a cuter outfit. So yes, that is the outfit for today. It today is Wednesday and it is wear pink day so we are wearing pink for breast cancer awareness and I have all the pink on today I'll share it with you in the mirror in just a moment my goal for spirit week is always to be really comfy cozy every single day so love this outfit I pretty much feel like it's another pajama day but it's super cute and I have my like little butterfly clips and everything one of my friends her name is Anne. she has a teacher TikTok and Instagram that is elementary with Anne, I believe I'll make sure I link it below but she did her hair like this yesterday and I was like oh my gosh that's so stinking cute so of course I had to wear my hair like this as well also I wanted to give you a little update from my piercings on Monday they are not hurting nearly as bad so that my first night of sleeping on them on Monday night I definitely had a hard time sleeping because I kept accidentally bumping them last night I slept like a baby it was totally fine I got a little piercing pillow and I just like put my little ear in the middle and it was great so highly recommend a piercing pillow if you are getting any ear piercing so I will link the one that I have from Amazon below but it worked really really well it just basically is like a donut pillow you could probably use like one of those travel pillows too but it's just a little donut pillow and then you put your head on it so it worked really well so I was thinking about it and tomorrow is sports day so I'm just gonna wear like a big oversized sweatshirt and then leggings and then Friday is our school spirit day so I'm gonna wear like my school name and colors and all of that stuff so I don't think I'm gonna film the next couple days because I have meetings before school the next couple days as well and during my planning and then I have one no, I have an appointment after school on Thursday. I'm like, I feel like I have a meeting, but no, I have an appointment after school on Thursday. So it's just going to be a hectic week. So I think I'm just going to try not to stress myself out and I will post my um, outfits on Instagram potentially, but I don't think I'm going to add them to this vlog. So I think today's going to be my last day of vlogging for the week, which, you know, I'm doing my best here. <laughs> so I don't think anybody will mind. I think it's fine. I also did get some McDonald's iced coffee this morning. I have got to say, I love a good caramel iced coffee from McDonald's and then I I just got a little breakfast sandwich so I'm excited to eat that sorry I feel like the camera angle is a little bit weird but that's okay I got a bacon egg and cheese biscuit so I need to eat this a minute before I start my meeting because I don't want to be eating during my meeting I feel like that might be rude so yes that is my little breakfast and I'm excited about it I have been doing such a bad job of eating breakfast recently and then I like don't feel good by the time lunch comes around because I'm like so hungry so I need to work on that so now I have my iced coffee and life is good Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. Let's look at my outfit in the mirror, even though you just saw it on the table, but that's okay. So this is the outfit for today for Wear Pink Day. My big oversized sweatshirt is from Airy. These leggings are from Amazon, my favorite Nikes that I wear every day. And then these little pom-pom earrings are from Etsy. And then my little butterfly clips, probably from the dollar store. So yes, that is my outfit for today. Also change the calendar while we're over here. Last year I had it as a classroom job. This year I just haven't taken the time to do that. So I've just been doing it myself when I remember. Speaking of classroom jobs, I am struggling with my classroom library this year. I have four classroom librarians, but I feel like it's just such a big job and the rest of the kids are not always good about putting things away neatly so like I feel like this is what my library looks like like all the time and it kind of makes me sad like why do all of these books have the pages out instead of the spine out I don't know it drives me crazy and then even like the books on top like those aren't the books that I displayed only Alma is and a letter from your teacher like where did all those other books come from I don't know and my stem bins like it's all a hot mess so oh well someday I will 
do a better job training my kids on how to clean this up. Oh well, not today, but someday. Okay, so it's been a little while since I filmed in this room, but this is our spare bedroom, and I decided I wanted to film at home because I have my piercing pillow here and I wanted to share it with you guys. And then also I had to take off for a meeting right after school, so I didn't get a chance to come back and talk. So this is the piercing pillow I was talking about, and it's just like a little donut. So you can lay your head on it like this and then that way it doesn't irritate your piercings and this thing is like unreal You could probably do the same thing with one of those travel pillows But this is just super convenient and it wasn't super expensive I just got it on Amazon so definitely recommend that and also I wanted to share with you because I haven't really had a chance to like sit down and talk that my student teacher has started taking over ELA So she's pretty much teaching like almost the entire morning block Which is wild and it's honestly been kind of hard to like sit back and watch somebody else teach my class like I feel like I'm usually like kind of chill. I don't know, but it's so hard for me not to like jump in or like take over or whatever. And like, I think I've been doing a good job not doing that. Like I totally let her do her thing and it helps that she is absolutely phenomenal. Like she is amazing, but it's so hard to not like want to interject or like add things or I don't know, like it's just so hard. And so I guess I didn't realize like how hard it would be. And that has been a huge learning curve for me. And she is amazing. Like my student teacher is phenomenal. She is going to be such a good teacher and she's already such a good teacher, but yeah, it's so hard not to jump in So I am definitely learning and I'm just having to make sure that I like give her time and space And just like remember like she's obviously not gonna do things the exact way that I do because she is her own person and her own Teacher and like I'm learning so much from having her in my classroom as well She has so many like cool strategies and things that she does and yeah I just feel like we work together really really well and we almost have like where I can look at her across the room and we can like communicate with our eyes when dealing with behaviors or something like sometimes she's teaching and she'll like look at me and then like look at the kid and I'm like yep got it and I'll like go tap in and help out and it's the opposite way too like when I'm teaching and I see that she needs something or when I'm teaching and I need something I'll look at her and be like oh and kind of make a face and she'll jump in right away so it's really awesome I feel like we've been very on the same page and that's been super helpful um but yeah it is very interesting like being on the other side and like sitting down and watching somebody else teach like it's just such a weird thing and and yeah, I feel like nobody really talks about that. So just wanted to let you know, she is doing amazing and it's been really, really nice to be able to like learn from her as well. And I wanted to share with you, one of my coworkers actually had told me that every time that she has student teachers, she has a journal that she shares with them. So basically when one of the teachers is teaching, the other one is like writing down questions or notes or just like noticings. And so that way we, they can not miss anything basically because sometimes what will happen is she'll be teaching and I'm like, oh, I need to tell her about this or share this idea with her. But then by the time that we get to planning or lunch or whatever, like I've already forgotten what it was so we've been sharing a little journal and I'll share just like different ideas or I'll share questions or she'd say like hey maybe try this next time or whatever it might be and that has been so helpful so that's been like a total game changer highly recommend if you have a student teacher doing that so I think that is going to be all for today's vlog. I think that's all I've got for you Like I said the next couple days of spirit week I will post over on Instagram, but they're not super exciting um, and I decided I just wanted to end the vlog here So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to read theory for sponsoring this video I love read theory. I love using it in my second grade classroom I loved using it when I taught fourth and fifth grade and I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already It is an awesome resource. Yes. Thank you to read theory and thank you to all of you for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye.